Hi, Grandpa Dave here, and welcome to the OpenSat Kit YouTube channel. Why Grandpa Dave? Well, after 34 years at working at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, I decided to retire. And a big part of that decision was, hold on buddy, oh, there we go, <laughs> was my grandson David. While I was at Goddard, I had the good fortune of working with many good people and talented engineers in the core flight system, or CFS. The CFS is a portable application runtime environment that's portable across different operating system and hardware platforms. Go for the stars? Oh! It's somewhat analogous to your smartphone, except that the apps are portable across different platforms. OpenSat Kit is an open source tool that combines three open source components. Ball Aerospace's Cosmos ground system, the CFS, and also the NASA 42 simulator. <laughs> Um, and the purpose of the OpenSat Kit is to, is to become a, create a CFS learning environment as well as an application development tool. And the goal of this YouTube channel is to provide CFS learning material, but my ultimate goal is to create a platform where users can contribute and to create a marketplace for CFS products and services. All right, is that a take, buddy? Yeah. All right, say bye. The CFS has three layers that allow applications to be ported across different hardware, processor, and operating system combinations. The bottom layer is the platform abstraction layer, and it has two parts, the operating system abstraction and a platform support package. Each of these components has an application programmer interface, or API. Together they allow the next layer, the core flight executive, to be portable. The CFE provides services for the applications that are defined through its API. The bottom two layers are called the CFE framework, and they have their own GitHub repository. Applications make up the third layer, and they provide mission functionality, somewhat analogous to apps customizing a smartphone. The CFS product model starts with the CFE framework. A NASA configuration control board that has members from multiple NASA centers manages the framework content and releases. The framework also defines component specifications for platforms and applications. I've dashed the lines because these are really guidelines as opposed to formal specifications. Component suppliers make their components available to the CFS community. Components are applications, platform ports, and tools. CFS distributors combine the CFE framework with components to create a CFS distribution. OpenSat Kit is a CFS distribution. There are several challenges with the current model. Where do I start? What apps do I need and how do I use them? I've got this cool app that may help other people, so now what should I do? OpenSat Kit is designed to meet these challenges. First, it provides an educational platform to learn about the CFS framework. Next, it provides an application development environment for learning and using CFS community apps and for developing project-specific apps. Finally, it provides tools for integrating and testing apps as a system. In addition to the CFS, OpenSat Kit combines two other open source tools to meet these objectives. It uses the Ball Aerospace Cosmos Ground System and NASA's 42 Simulator. Cosmos sends commands to the CFS and receives telemetry, and simulated hardware command and telemetry is transferred between the CFS and 42. OpenSat Kit is focused on the CFS framework and applications. It is not designed to support a mission lifecycle. However, nothing precludes someone from using it for this purpose. Also, OpenSat Kit does not provide any support for porting the CFS framework to different hardware and operating system platforms. OpenSat Kit contains several applications that are configured to support a fictitious mission called SimpleSat. SimpleSat provides a reference mission context to illustrate how apps can be used to meet a mission's objectives. The circles represent apps, and the blue line represents the software bus that is used to transfer messages between apps. The blue apps are released by NASA, and the green apps have been developed for OpenSat Kit. The apps are arranged in functional groups, and training videos will be created for each group. The runtime environment apps provide an operational environment for all apps. The automation and health and safety apps provide automated operations and spacecraft safekeeping. The maintenance apps provide tools for in-orbit diagnostics, debugging, and flight software changes. The data and file management apps provide packet data and file management services, as well as file transfer services. 
The Attitude Determination Control apps compute current orbit and attitude states and perform closed-loop control functions. Currently, OpenSat Kit's 42 closed-loop configuration is not integrated with the SimpleSat mission. The apps that are configured for SimpleSat perform what has traditionally been called command and data handling functions. Finally, the Instrument Simulator app simulates SimpleSat's instrument. Cosmos has been customized to serve as OpenSat Kit's runtime manager. Cosmos is a collection of tools that can be individually accessed through its launcher. OpenSat Kit has been launched by clicking on the CFS button, and this starts the Cosmos command and telemetry server that is used to communicate between Cosmos and the CFS. It also starts the Cosmos telemetry viewer that displays OpenSat Kit's main page. The main page has three tabs. The first tab is for learning about the CFE and apps. The bottom section contains one button for each CFE service. These buttons launch a page that provides access to all of the service's command, telemetry, and files. There are also links to documentation, tutorials, and videos. The middle section contains one button for each functional group of apps. Access to each app's command and telemetry is provided and links to documentation and training material as well. The top section is used for system level functions. The CFS can be started with or without this 42 simulation. When the CFS starts, a console window is created that displays event messages. A bare-bones simple set integration test script and operational script are included. The integration script is being launched. Two new screens are displayed that show all of the CFS apps and the OSK apps. The Cosmos script runner has been started to run the integration script. The second OpenSAT kit tab serves as the application development kit. The Create App screen has been launched, showing that it only takes six steps to create a Hello World app, complete with initial command and telemetry pages. Several app templates are provided to create apps using different app frameworks or styles. There's a preliminary app discovery and integration tool. It currently uses a local app catalog that will be extended to include community apps in the future. Many additional features are planned. The final tab is for extending OpenSat Kit. A prototype PySat has been integrated with OpenSat Kit. A next generation PySat has been developed and will be made available. Back to the main page and launch the Attitude and Control app screen and then launch the 42 simulation management screen. This time, the CFS is being started with the 42 simulator. This can take on the order of 10 to 20 seconds depending on your computer's memory and processor resources. Two new windows have been created by the 42 simulator. The 42 CAM window shows the spacecraft and the 42 map window shows the spacecraft's orbital trajectory on a global map. The Cosmos telemetry grapher was started to display the attitude errors. The OpenSat GitHub Wiki page provides instructions on an Ubuntu installation, which is the only platform supported at the moment. It also has some brief instructions on getting started. On the side panel, there are links to training videos. There's also a page with references and resources and a page with a roadmap of future plans. Putting it all together, we have OpenSat Kit working in harmony with the YouTube channel marketplace and community apps that can be discovered, retrieved, and integrated into the kit. We'll place us on the cusp of era-defining space exploration.